Hey there! In this video, I'll introduce the theory of tensor transposition, and then we'll see how easy it is to transpose tensors in any popular tensor library, be it NumPy, TensorFlow, or PyTorch. The easiest kind of tensor to transpose is a zero-dimensional tensor, a scalar. So the transpose of a scalar is simply itself. The transpose of a vector, we've actually already seen this earlier in the Machine Learning Foundation series, this converts a column vector to a row vector and vice versa. Now, where things get really interesting is with matrix transposition, which if you really examine this closely, scalar and vector transposition are really just special cases of matrix transposition. So in a matrix transposition, we flip the axes of our matrix over the main diagonal. So the main diagonal of the matrix runs from the top left corner to the bottom right corner of the matrix. So we just flip over the axes such that any given element that was in the ith and jth position for the row and column respectively, it simply gets flipped. So all of a sudden, what was, you know, column J is now row J and vice versa. So seeing a, a graphic representation here that I've drawn, you can see the top left element stays in its place, but this top right element now becomes the bottom left element. But all of the elements are still in the same order. It's just that what was once this right-hand column is now the bottom row and the left-hand column is now the top row. Cool, so that's it. Let's look at a hands-on code demo to see how this is done in code. All right, so following along in segment two now of our first subject, Intro to Linear Algebra, we already earlier in this notebook created the matrix X, and it's a NumPy matrix. Here's what it looks like. It's actually exactly the same as the one that I just showed you in the slides. And when we take the transpose of it, which is super easy in NumPy, we just put dot capital T on the end of our tensor, and boom, it outputs that tensor now uh, transformed. And so you can go have a look. Here's the shape in the slides before transposition and after, and the same thing happens here. And the elements that were in the first column, the left-hand column, are now the first row, and so on. To do this in TensorFlow and PyTorch, PyTorch, as usual, is exactly as easy as NumPy. It just has the same .t um, operator that you can put on the end there. In TensorFlow, as usual, it's just a tiny little bit less obvious. You need to call the TensorFlow transpose operation and apply it to your uh, TensorFlow tensor, and you get your results. Pretty straightforward. All right, that's it for tensor transposition. Up next, we're covering basic tensor arithmetic.